discussion on Fourier series of even and odd function. In this video, we are going to deal with the function that is piecewise defined function and we will identify whether these functions are even and odd and accordingly we will find its Fourier series approximation. For example, first case we are considering this function, we are going to find the Fourier series of this function. If you observe, the graphical view of this function is over here. Now, how this function is defined? According to this function, from minus pi to minus pi by 2, the function value is minus 1. So, if this is the x-axis and this is the function value, minus 1 lies over here. So, from minus pi to minus pi by 2, the function value is minus 1. From minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, the function value is 0. From pi by 2 to pi, the function value is 1. So, this is a piecewise defined function. We need to find the Fourier series of this one. If you observe that, this function is defined on a symmetric interval. Moreover, the function is defined in form of negative of each other. So, this is divided into three functions. One is minus 1, second is 0, then 1. If you observe for the 0 function, 0 function is defined on a symmetric interval. That is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, whenever we are taking the 0 function, that 0 function is always symmetric about y-axis as well as the origin. So, we can say that the 0 function is, is even as well as the odd. But, we need to judge for this case. From minus pi to minus pi by 2, second is pi by 2 to pi. Again, this is a symmetric interval. So, we need to judge whether the function is even or odd. Now, how to proceed this one with the help of mathematically? We will start with the one of the function. Taking function is equal to minus 1. That is defined from minus pi to minus pi by 2. Step number 1, replace x by negative of x. So, when you replace x by negative of x, we have function at minus x is equal to minus 1 and also replace x with a negative of x in this interval. So, we have from minus pi to minus pi by 2. Now, as per the question, the details are given for the x. Means the interval value is given for the x, not for the negative of x. So, we need to remove this negative x. So, how we can remove that? Multiply this interval with the negative sign. Or we can say the negative of 1. When you multiply with the negative of 1, we have positive pi. This is a positive x and this is a positive pi by 2. And when we are multiplying negative with the inequality, that inequality change. In this case, it is greater than and this also converted into greater than. So, now we can rearrange this one. According to this one, minimum value of x is pi by 2. The maximum value is pi. So, we can write this as pi by 2 to pi. The function value is minus 1. If you observe in this function, from pi by 2 to pi, the function value is 1, but we are getting a minus 1. So, we can write this as minus of the function. Pi by 2 to pi, the function value is 1. So, in place of this, we can write the function and this negative sign is as it is. So, we have started with the negative of x in a function. Now, we are getting a negative of the function. So, by this we can say that the function is odd. Because 0 function is defined on a symmetric interval and from here we are getting the function as a negative of the function. From here we are getting an odd function. So, overall answer is a odd. Even you can observe from the graph, this graph is symmetric about the origin. So, this is act like a mirror. We have a mirror image of this function on this side. So, it means the function is odd. Now, we know that if the function is odd, then A0 and An are 0. They are the Fourier coefficient. 
so we have the simple function approximation in terms of fourier series as summation 1 to infinity bn sin of 2n by x by length of the interval that is 2 pi because we have taken the interval from minus pi to pi so this length is 2 pi where bn is calculated as 2 by length of the interval integration from minus pi to pi of the function into sine of simplified form is nx with respect to x. One way to integrate this one as break this integration into three parts that is from minus pi to minus pi by 2 then minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then pi by 2 to pi. Second, we know that if the function is odd, a0 is 0, an is 0, we can also write this integration as twice of this 1 by pi as it is. Rather than taking an integration from minus pi to pi, we can take 0 to pi of the function into sine of n into x. By using this form, we have bn is equal to 2 times of 1 by pi. Now break this integration. 1 is 0 to pi by 2. And another is pi by 2 to pi. In this case, 0 to pi by 2 is a part of this interval. And the function is 0. So we can write 0 into sine of n into x plus in this case the function value is 1 into sine of n into x. Now this value is equal to 0 because 0 into something is a 0 and integration of a 0 is a 0. We have simply 2 by pi Integration of sin nx is cos of nx divided by the coefficient of x that is n. Limits are pi by 2 to pi. So we can write this as is equal to 2 by n pi outside. When you put upper limit cos of n pi that is minus 1 raised to power n. Put lower limit. That is the cos of n pi by 2. And we have no general formulation for this one. So we will keep it as it is. So minus cos of n pi by 2. So this is the value of bn in this case. Substitute bn in this summation. And finally you have a Fourier series for this function from minus pi to pi. Next question is, find the Fourier series of this function. So if you observe, this function is break down into three parts. From minus pi to minus pi by 2, the function value is 0. From pi by 2 to pi, its function value is 0. From minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, the function value is constant. And here we have the graph of this one. From minus pi to pi minus pi by 2 function is 0. From pi by 2 to pi the function value is 0. And this is the x axis and this is a function value. Right now I have taken as k as any positive quantity or you can take k as a any negative quantity. So we have the function in this case as of this form straight line from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. According to this graph, if you observe that this graph is not symmetric about the origin, but it is symmetric about the y-axis. So, means the function is even. You can also check it by the mathematically. From minus pi to minus pi by 2, function is 0. The symmetric interval we have in this case as pi by 2 to pi, again the function is 0. From here, maybe the function is even or odd. We just need to worry about this interval. So this is a symmetric interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. 
we just need to observe in this interval this function is even or odd so we can start with the function function is defined as any constant from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 replace x by negative of x so we have f of minus x is equal to k and in this case minus pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 so we need to create this as a positive x so we can multiply this with negative of the 1 so we have pi by 2 this sign is changed greater than x greater than minus pi by 2 so from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 the function is k and same function we are getting in this case so we can write this as is equal to f of x so we have started with the negative of x in a function now we are getting as it is function so this implies the function is even now if the function is even this implies bn Fourier coefficient is 0. We just need to evaluate a0 and a. And in that case, the Fourier series is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity an cos of 2n pi x divided by the length of the interval that is 2 pi where a naught is calculated as 2 by length of the interval integration from minus pi to pi of the function with respect to x rather than taking integration from minus pi to pi we can also write this as integration from 0 to pi because the function is even And this quantity is as it is, but multiply by 2 is equal to twice of 1 by pi. So, 0 to pi, again we need to break this integration according to this one. So, 0 to pi is splitted into 0 to pi by 2 plus pi by 2 to pi. Now what is the function value from 0 to pi by 2? That is k and in this case the function value is 0. Integration of 0 on any of the interval is 0. So this quantity is 0. So when you simplify this we have this is equal to 2 by pi. Integration of a constant is x limits are 0 to pi by 2. Substitute upper limit minus lower limit. At lower limit it is getting a 0. At upper limit it is a pi by 2. So when you simplify that we will get k in this case. So it means the value of a0 is k. Now we are going to evaluate an. So an is calculated as 2 by 2 pi integration from minus pi to pi of the function into cos of n into x. Now we can use that concept since the function is even, cos is even, product of these two functions is again even. So rather than taking the integration from minus pi to pi, we can take the integration from 0 to pi of the same function. And this factor is as it is. So simplified factor in this case is 1 by pi. But we will multiply this by 2. This is equal to 2 by pi. Split this integration. We can split this integration from 0 to pi by 2. And in that case we have the function as a k. Whereas. From pi by 2 to pi, the function value is 0. So, 0 into something is a 0. So, we can write 0 into dx.
and integration of this vector is 0. This also is equal to 2 by pi. Take k outside because it is a constant. So we are getting the integration from 0 to pi by 2 of cos of n into x only. This is equal to 2k by pi. Integration of cos is sin n into x divided by n. Limits are 0 to pi by 2. We can take n outside. We have 2k by pi n. Substitute upper limit sin n pi by 2. Minus when you put x is equal to 0, we have 0. So this is, is equal to 2k by pi n with a negative sign sin of n pi by 2. So right now we don't have any general formulation for the sin n pi by 2 because sin n pi by 2 at n is equal to 0, we are getting a sin 0. And in this case we are getting a 0. At n is equal to 1, we have sin pi by 2. This value is equal to 1. At n is equal to 2, we have sin pi. This is equal to 0. At n is equal to 3, we have sin 3 pi by 2. And this is equal to minus 1. So depending upon the n, either the answer is 0, 1 or minus 1. It means we don't have any general formulation in this case. Although we have learned the two general formulation of sin, that is sin n pi is always 0. Second is sin 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. This is always is equal to minus 1 raised to power n. And this is only for the odd multiple of pi by 2. Not for any multiple of pi by 2. Only for the odd. So this is the value of a n and a naught we are getting a k. So final Fourier series we have in this case a naught is k by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n is minus 2 k by pi n into sine of n pi by 2 into cos of n pi. Thank you.